Should I just appear transparent all the way through the video? <laughs> Should I? Should I not? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe. Hello, I'm Stephen Mason and I'm not transparent unlike the start of the video because at the end of the day I want it to be the best quality possible and overlay me on the top of just a still it's like nearly fall over <laughs> um, this one's about ghost now I watched that ghost last night with Brit um, she had never seen it you know she's she's trying she's trying stars um, he's in this I forgot I've just forgot his name Goodwin Goodworth good he's called um, Tony Goodworth, um, Whoopi Goldberg, who won the Academy Award, Debbie Moore, and um, Patrick Swayze. I didn't realise Patrick Swayze was in this until Dirty Dancing halfway through, and I clicked and I went, oh yeah, he's famous at this point in time of his career for Dirty Dancing. I don't really remember Dirty Dancing. Right, so Ghost. Let's do a review for Ghost. It's getting a bit more Kong rattling going on. I really enjoyed it last night. I mean, I've seen it a few times. Um, for it, the, when it was made, it's amazing. The way they've done the the scene comparison, composures, the fucking editing, the special effects is really good. But what I really, really liked about this film is the actual camera work. There's even a bit when the guy's carrying a mirror, and the shot sort of goes into the mirror, and he walks into the rest of the room. There's an upward-looking shot of a flag. There's some really, really clever shots in this. Whoever's d done the film of this. You know, fair enough, Patrick Swayze's going to be running around with his ghost flicking cans and jumping in, in trains and stuff, and they're going to have that little bit extra, little uh, vigil, did a little effect, especially when they go through people and they see the fucking brains and stuff. Yeah, fair enough. But the overall camera work on this is absolutely brilliant. Soundtrack, you know, it's like, and Shane Melody. Before Robson, Jerome, the original. Okay, but again, it's all right, you know. It, it, I mean, it's quite morbid when you think about death and you think about dying and stuff like that. It's like, you know, it's great. I mean, it gives you that, you know, you're thinking about it and you go, oh, yeah, well, there's a heaven, but that was also a hell. So be nice to people. But, uh, you know, it's what it was for the time. You know, Debbie Moore was a few good men and indecent exposure and all that. She should have just stuck with stuff like that. Uh, one crazy summer, Patrick Swayze. Huge, phenomenal. Tony Good, Tony Goodworth never really got his comeuppance, you know. Yes, he's the sex pest and uh, kissed the girls and went on to be in uh, the sixth day, but I can't really point out another one. I'm sure the other guy died. I think I know why, but I don't really point that out. But I think he died in real life as well. Uh, it's good. It's good. It's quirky, funny in places. It's a tragic love story in a way. It's got a lot of foreshadowing as well, you know. It's like. Even though it's a big budget movie and there's a lot going on, it's quite isolated. It's got the guy from Dodgeball in, it's got um, Milton from, you know, um, Office Space, he's in it, he's the police officer. So there's quite a few actors in this breaking out. I'm sure that Max, Max, Maxi guy's in it as well. Where is it, Treads? But no, I enjoyed it. I don't think Debbie Moore's performance in it's amazing. What we go about is absolutely brilliant. Um. Patrick Swayze, for what he was, and he, he was pretty good in it as well. I mean, again, it's about the special effects, and it's about, to me, it was the camera work what's got me really to get up and do a review and go, what's this review going to be about? It's going to be about Ghost. Um, it was the camera work that really, really got us last night. I was like, yeah, that's really, really well filmed. Funny enough, um, the guy who was in the middle of the elevator when they're on about the rash and all that, and everyone's getting a bit uncomfortable, the guy who's right behind him, funny enough, strangely enough, was in the episode of the X-Files I was watching when they all were called Firewalker. And I was like, that's the guy, that's the bad guy from, um, that's the guy from the whole, uh, elevator before because he's right back in the middle of Swayze and Goodworth, Goodwin, whatever you want to call him, Tony. Um, he's in Cuffs. Yeah, Cuffs, I've just done a little bit of filming for Cuffs review. Um, and uh, how's he? It, it was just a coincidence, you know what I mean? He's like running around with a bandage around his head, trying to stop everyone from getting away from this volcano and stuff because they've got fucking big things coming out the neck. And I was like, it's the same actor. And they were filmed, obviously, maybe it was a couple of years later, you know, it's just a guy in an elevator who gets a big breakout role in the X Files. Well, that was a rant, wasn't it? So, yeah, anyway, it was, I was saying Whoopi Goldberg. I mean, even Whoopi Goldberg, giving the money to the nuns, it's foreshadowing Sister Act in a way as well, you know. 
Uh, I mean, it wasn't in a joke, but it's even funnier now looking at that and going, oh, she's giving loads of money to the nuns because Just Racked was like a year after, or maybe it was two. But she was absolutely phenomenal. And it's weird how she just fell off the radar. When, when, what was the last big movie you seen Whoopi Goldberg in? But yeah, it was good. It's a shame about Patrick Swayze. Um, but no, I enjoyed it. Again, it was a, as, as a scene as a kid as well, it's one of the ones where, like Christ, your life and death, sweating, sweating. But it doesn't really, I mean, it's got the whole, I mean, I was saying to Britt last night, how many people wanted to uh, take up claying, you know, like that's the one sex scene in it. But again, it works, you know. Yeah, I'll see in the outtakes. So, hope you enjoyed this review for Ghost. I'm sure I've got it on VHS, you know. It's something I probably would have acquired. Yeah. I really do need to sort these VHSs out. I'm sure I've got it on VHS. It's something I very well have just acquired. Um, basic box, very iconic cover. As I say, slaps Whoopi Goldberg all over it. It's not been available on Blu-ray yet. It's something that could do a remaster, but even looking at it on DVD, it looked great. The special effects have really held up. Some of the composites when he jumps across the train, you know, and he disappears. Um, but even like the subtle things as well about the guy. The guy is he's in Tim Burton's um, Batman Returns. He's the guy with the monkey, the the, the ghost on the train. Even him, like him, like I wasn't supposed to go, and he was pushed off, and all that. It's got some very dark tones in it. And then devils, ghosts, shadow things. Like again, the quality. Of, like when I was a kid, I just remember the mean fucking shadows. On this, they've like got fucking faces, but missing like the eyes and the mouths, and it's like they're fucking well creepy. Like, whew. but yeah, I see it aged really well. Again. I thought the camera work was just absolutely fantastic. Should have got a mirror. <laughs> just walked around the room for the mirror. Like I did with the Prince of Darkness. But that mirror's in the shed. I ain't going to the shed. I've got no socks on. But you didn't need to know that. But having Steve Mason. Um, thanks for watching. Um, if you've never seen Ghost. It's a good film. If you haven't seen Ghost in a couple of years. It's aged well. That's all I've got to say. Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now. Here's an outtake for the ghost review. I mean, I'm standing, what, here, ranting on about ghost, or there, ranting about ghost. I didn't mention on VHS, it's just there. I can't believe it. I'm absolutely shocked that it's just there. So yeah, ghost on VHS. I don't want to pull it out, like. No. Patrick Swayze. Jesus. <laughs> I don't want to pull that out, but yeah. Very end of the video, thanks for watching. Goodbye for now. And now, the end is here.